Hello students, welcome to SAM classes. Today we will be doing the tips and tricks sections for the continuity and differentiability part. Now very important, you need to understand few things, how you can solve the questions in less than 3 seconds or 5 seconds so that you can save that time and use it to other questions which will be of bigger time taking order like there will be a time taking problem. Okay. So somewhere around these 20 questions are there, okay, out of the whole 60 paper, 20 to 25, they range around which you can solve them around 3 to 5 seconds. So we are trying to compile for each and every chapter what kind of problems are like 3 to 5 seconds and how to apply on that. So if you are able to go through all the chapter playlist, go through this one also, it's very important, very properly we have made it. So let's see, let's start this chapter. And one more thing. Do like, share and subscribe. We really, really feel very happy when we see the students are really studying on this and they're, we are able to help them in some way or the other. Okay. So we are really making up a lot of content for these past, for the next upcoming, sorry, for the next upcoming seven days. So do subscribe us and do inform your friends, whoever are writing the KCT exam to go through the channel and the important things which I am telling you, the concept video along with first the playlist of uh, what do you say tricks and trips, tricks and tips and then to come to the PYQ in detail manner. Okay, let's see. Now for the first question, the moment, can you see it and tell the answer? Yes. See, continuity means if the break is there, if there is a break in the graph, it means it is non-continuous. If there is a break in the graph, it means it is non-continuous and differentiability means sharp turn. Differentiability means sharp turn. So here we see differentiability means sharp turns. Okay. So if you see here, we have a sharp turn. So the moment we have a sharp turn, not differentiable. What is it? Not differentiable. So remember, not differentiable why? Sharp turn. Not differentiable why? Sharp turn. Okay. Now next question. We have a function and the function is coming to, if I put x equal to 0, the limiting value, it is coming to 0 by 0. The moment it is coming to 0 by 0, directly use L hospital. We have just taken one question, a lot of your questions and the entire limit sections can be solved just by using L hospital. So be very forward is a point in that and just check it. Okay. So when you differentiate it, you will get 3 pi cos, cos pi x divided by 5. So now what do you do? Once you have already got 3 pi cos pi x divided by 5, put x equal to 0. So this is vanished. So what will happen? If I put, so what I'll get, 3 pi by 5 is equal to 2k, 3 pi by 5 is equal to 2k, so k is equal to 3 pi by 10, that's it. So less than 3 seconds, okay. Just to explain you, I wrote a bit, one line or two line. So what I'm trying to say is, a lot of questions, we have made a curated list, where we are putting up the common parts, like the common repeated question or the common parts, the common repeated questions, okay, which keeps coming or the common concept which keeps coming. So once you understand by this concept, like wherever I'm getting 0 by 0, or infinity by infinity, I have to use L orbital. What is L orbital? You differentiate the numerator and denominator separately. Differentiate numerator and denominator separately. Clear? So that's it. So a lot of questions of continuity and differentiability can be solved directly by using L orbital. Nothing more than that. So once you understand this concept, this concept you can use it to any questions. Okay? So that is the reason for teaching you this. Okay? Next, the moment you remember more, what is a GIF function? greatest integer function at integral points there is a break at integral points what happens there is a break if you remember the graph it is a break so not continuous clear at what point integral points so directly that's the answer clear everybody so here oh one second one second one second they're asking that the function is continuous at not discontinuous so it is not one second it is not continuous at this this and this but continuous at non-integral points. Next, see very good question. X is equal to a cos cube theta, y is equal to a sin cube theta. Okay. And we have to get 1 plus dy by dx whole square. Now imagine, okay, I'm not trying to solve. What I'm giving you a logic is what will happen? dy by dx. Okay. If you see x is equal to a cos and y is equal to sine, if I do y by x, I'll get sine by cos that is tan. And 1 plus tan square theta is nothing but secant square theta. So the answer even if I don't solve it, I'll get secant square theta. Okay. 
Now, this is very, very, very important. Okay, what you need to understand and what we need to teach from here is one very beautiful concept to you all. Okay, so let's see what you do whenever you get something like x and y, multiply x y. The moment you multiply x and y, you will get x e power, whatever it is, sine inverse of t square minus one plus cos inverse of. I just reciprocated t square minus one. See, sine square theta plus uh, sine inverse x plus cos inverse x is what pi by two. So whenever it is e power pi by two, basically that is a constant. Whenever the product of x and y is a constant, understand? Whenever the product of x and y is constant, directly you get a dy by dx is equal to minus y by x. dy by dx is equal to minus y by x. Okay? So a lot of questions are coming, not directly but indirectly based on this. So very 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 important. Okay? So mug it up. Whenever we are able to show that x and y, if I multiply them. They're able to form a constant, so directly the derivative you can write is equal to minus y by x. Let's see the next question: x power y e power x minus y. Here, what we do, we need to do one step: take log. So the moment you took log, what you'll get y log x is equal to x minus y. That's it. So and then what you do, you bring y this side. So what you'll get is you'll get y into one plus log x is equal to x. Now see, this is basically if I send the side, it is one plus log x. Okay, so it is u by v. Means in down in denominator, I need one plus log x whole square. If I differentiate, because basically I'm getting y is equal to this. Okay, so if I differentiate, I'll get down v square. U by v formula you all remember. U dash v minus v dash u by v square. So directly without solving, I can write the answer. That's it. But the whole point of showing you this all is so that you can save a bit of time. That time you can use for the questions. Which you really don't know, or it's time-consuming. So a lot of questions they come with sir time management, sir. Sir, uh, we are not able to manage the time, sir. So this is the thing. Wherever you are, you don't have to solve the whole thing. The options are like pretty much arranged, okay? So I already know that in down I will get v square, and denominator there is no other option with v square. Ah, uh, if it was a j and all, we would have got like all the options with v square, okay? But here it is not. So use your brain. No need to solve till the end. Okay, next question. This mug it up. Okay, this is very 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 important. Whenever you have this formula, x power m into y power n is equal to x plus y whole power m plus n. Then dy by dx is y by x. dy by dx is y by x. Now I have already given the solution of this in detail in the PYQ series of continuity and differentiability one shot. Okay. But here I'm not providing you that. But using this now, why I have taken it? Using this will solve a very beautiful problem. Okay, you'll see. So what is the formula? Let's again recap with me. X power m, y power n, and then what they are multiplied and power is what? And also added. They are also added. Sorry, they are also added. Power is also added. In that case scenario, dy by dx is equal to y by x. Let's see the next question. So here, whenever they say Differentiate one thing with respect to other. What you do? Take one thing as p. So you take p as log x base ten, and q as log ten base six. Now multiply these two. So you get p q is equal to one. Again, what I told you? See same thing. No, x y is equal to one. So d y by d x is equal to what? Minus y by x. Correct. So is there any form where it is negative? So this one. That's it. We don't need to solve everything. Check it. You will get the correct answer. And that is not. We are not doing a What is a random guess? Okay, we are doing a legitimate solving, but we have shortened it up so that you are ha you can save few seconds from each questions that you can use it to ace up your marks. Okay, let's see the next question. Y is equal to tan x. Now this part you need to mark up. This is a trigonometrical part. Sin x plus cos x divided by cos x minus sin x is nothing but Here, what you do, you divide the whole thing top and bottom by what cos x. So what you'll get tan x plus one by tan x minus one is nothing but tan of pi by four plus x. So the moment you know this much, the question is done. Tan inverse of tan x by what do you say? So we'll directly get y is equal to pi by four plus x. If I differentiate, I'll get dy by dx as one. Clear? So that's it. See how easy it is. Okay, so we just need to know few of trigo part, so we can easily solve it. Now again, y is equal to log of log x. Okay, so what you do? Differentiate first ones. 
So dy by dx is equal to what do you get? 1 by log x into 1 by x. That's it. So basically, if I do u by v, I should get down x log x whole square. What I should get? x log x whole square. So this is wrong. This option is x log x whole square, and this is also. So this option can be, this option can be, this is also wrong. See, I eliminated two options just by one line. Next thing is, see, whenever I differentiate 1 by x, okay, what I get? I get minus 1 by x square. So it has to be negative. So this is not possible. This is the answer. That's it. See, any difficulty, the moment you understand how much it takes, it takes less than 3 seconds. That's it. Now what we got is basically we got x is equal to c. The question looks very difficult. A lot of questions just by seeing they'll leave it. But it is nothing. Cos y by cos of you just need to know a bit basics. Okay. So you know what you say. How to do cross multiplication. Correct. Once you have done this find dx by dy. So basically in dx by dy if you understand here. What will happen? Down will get cos square a plus y. So if I do dy by dx it will be reciprocated. And I'll be in the top. So see cos square a plus y, cos square a plus y, this is wrong, this is wrong. Because we need it in the numerator. So only b and d options can do. Now what about the top one? See if you do a bit on the top one, what you will get is u dash v. So sin y into cos minus cos y into sin. So this is basically nothing but I'm not solving. Sin a cos b minus cos a sin b, sin formula. So that is this, this your b is the answer. Correct. Nothing more than that. So simple i didn't touch like what more not more than five seconds i took it and anything random guess just what do you say this is down this is up just make it what do you say uh take this as an answer no so understand it okay so that you don't do any mistake in exam now this part very good question okay and keeps coming up but you can solve it more logically than using formula what you have done is you have taken this whole the other repeating part as y square y what do you do square it so y square is equal to x plus y and then solve it that's it directly you'll see you'll get dy by dx i'm not solving 1 by 2y minus 1 that's it clear so very simple question let's see the next one see just now i told you which formula x power m y power m y power n is equal to x plus y whole power m plus n so if you see it is basically y power one third x power one half is equal to is equal to x plus y whole power 5 by 6 correct so dy by dx student is nothing but what is the dy by dx y by x that's it done so this trick if you use it that's it done you got the answer now here understand where Rolle's theorem is not applicable see Rolle's theorem is not applicable Rolle's theorem what three conditions it has to be continuous in close interval differentiable in open interval now if you see mod x it's not differentiable mod x is not differentiable at zero and see the domain of this is what minus two to two so directly not we can't apply rules theorem here that's it so was it very difficult now it gave you a broad idea of whatever the important and the repeating questions that are keeps coming for your kct 2021 so best of luck you can do the whole chapter and like a recap session like 15 minutes max 10 minutes so that's it so if you like it if you understand it and if you want us to make it more do share it put it join our whatsapp group telegram channel will be live from 24th okay we'll be explaining we'll be teaching we'll be solving your doubts we'll be talking to you all so don't be nervous okay we'll be there from 24th to 27th 24 by 7 okay on the youtube platform so work hard, best of luck.